just months after naming Indian origin engineer Rahul Patel as its global CTO. Anthropic, the AI lab behind Claude, has officially announced its expansion to India. And the timing is, well, symbolic. India is now Claude's second largest market, right behind the United States and the nerve center of the world's developer economy. While the exact location of the new Bengaluru office remains undisclosed, the company confirmed that operations will begin in early 2026, marking Anthropic's second Asia-Pacific base after Tokyo. India is compelling because of the scale of its technical talent and the government's commitment to ensuring AI benefits reach all areas of society." End quote. This was said by Dario Omede, who is, of course, Anthropic's co-founder and CEO, who will be visiting India briefly, meeting policymakers and enterprise leaders. Anthropic plans to anchor its India presence around three key pillars, empowering startups to build globally competitive AI solutions, deploying AI for public good in education, healthcare, and agriculture, partnering with enterprises and nonprofits for responsible AI innovation. This expansion also underscores India's growing influence in the global AI order, where Bengaluru is fast becoming the command center for frontier AI deployment. Anthropic says India ranks number two worldwide in cloud usage, with an unusually high concentration in coding, debugging, and UI design workflows. Enterprises like Cred and Emergent are already embedding Claude into developer platforms, accelerating what the company calls Vibe Coding software built through natural language. Though uh, through Amazon Bedrock, Google Vertex AI, and its own Claude API, Anthropic is giving Indian companies and developers direct access to Frontier AI safely and at scale. Anthropic is also investing heavily in Indic language expansion, Hindi first, followed by Bengali, Marathi, Telugu, Tamil, Punjabi, Gujarati, Kannada, Malayalam, and Urdu. This, well, isn't just translation. It's actually infrastructure. Localization will help AI reach millions across India's public sector, schools, and startups. The company also confirmed plans to work with government organizations and social enterprises to apply Claude's reasoning and analytical capabilities for healthcare, analytics, education access, and agricultural efficiency. Anthropic's new CTO, Rahul Patil, is an alumnus of PES University, Bengaluru, and one of India's most prominent AI engineers globally, having led infrastructure at Stripe, AWS, Oracle, and Microsoft. As reported earlier on front page, Patil now oversees Anthropic's global engineering, including inference, product, infrastructure, and security, as the company races to meet surging global demand. Anthropic's valuation has already touched $183 billion with over 300,000 business customers and a $1 billion annual run rate, making it one of the fastest growing AI labs in history. Anthropic's arrival in India comes just as OpenAI prepares its first office in New Delhi. And Google DeepMind doubles down on research collaborations in the country. But Anthropic's approach stands out. It's not just expanding for market share, it's actually embedding itself into India's AI future. The Bengaluru announcement also coincides with Anthropic's growing participation in India's national AI mission, helping the country build safe, interpretable, and steerable AI systems that align with global governance frameworks. This isn't just another global office announcement, it's actually a signal that Bengaluru is now the new global ground zero for responsible AI. Claude is coming home, 
to the country that built some of the world's best engineers, the very talent shaping Anthropic's infrastructure today. And if India is where the next wave of safe, democratized AI begins, Anthropic just made sure it will be part of that story from day one.